Hello Year 5, it's Mrs Gill here. Welcome to Week 3, Tuesday's Math Session. So, we're going to begin today with a little bit more work on rounding and adjusting. We're today just going to be having a look at recapping just once again how we can actually round and adjust some larger numbers um, and apply that same strategy of adding 9 to these. So, just a quick recap then, we've got 456 add 199, we obviously know that this is close to 200, so we can do 456 add 200, which gives us a total of 656, and then we can do 656, and remembering again this time we will be subtracting one because we've added on one too many, 655 for that one. On to this one then, a little bit trickier. This 2,998 is two away from 3,000. So we can do 6,837, add 3,000 equals 9,837. However, we've obviously added on two too many. So we take our 9,837 and we need to subtract two ones, which gives us the answer of 9,835. And the last one then, particularly if you're in blue group, I'd like you to have a go at some, maybe some of these today. We're looking at 2.9, and here we're actually looking at the fact that 2.9 is only 0.1 away, one tenth away from three. So we could do 6.7, subtract three, equals, sorry, add 3 even, equals 9.7, and then we have 9.7, and we've added on 0.1 too much, 1 tenth too much, so we get 9.6. So the answer is 9.6 for this one. Okay. So, what you are going to do now for me then, is have a little look at this one. Is there more than one way that we can round and adjust this question? 28 add 9. You might want to pause the video now and explore. So, there are actually a number of ways. We're going to start by rounding our 39. Um, in the first calculation here, so we've done 28 add 40 obviously would give us uh, 68, just to jot that down there, minus 1 equals 67. But obviously, also 28 is very close to 30. So we could do 39 add 30, which would obviously give us 69, but this time we've added on 2 too many, so we need to subtract 2. Another thing we can think about is actually both numbers are very close to 10s, is it easier to add 30, add 40, which gives us 70, minus 2, too many from our 28, obviously leaves us with 68, and then minus 1, because of, we've got 1 too many from our 39. So the answer there then is 67. So that's just another kind of calculation, a different way you can play around with the numbers. And another example here, obviously we've got 49 is very close to 50, so we've used our strategy there of minusing 50 and putting, uh, sorry, adding 50, done that twice now, adding 50 and minusing one, the one too many. We're obviously close to 100 here with 98, so we've got our example here of adding 100, subtracting 2, because we had two too many. And finally, actually doing both, so rounding both up and minusing, obviously, all together, 2 from the 98 and 1 from the 49 to give us a 100 and 47. So lots of different ways that we can play around with these numbers and maybe more efficient ways rather than always just resorting back to our column method. So once again have a go at completing, choose a column, red challenge or blue challenge, spending about no more than about 10 minutes on this if you wish to you can come up with some of your own as well. Maybe trying some more of those ones that we've just explored. So you would like to pause the video now and here we have the answers. 
So today we're going to be doing some um, recapping and probably quite some familiar work on our column addition. We're going to be working through column addition and different strategies for adding and subtracting over the next couple of days to build up to some problem solving. So today we are looking at adding numbers in a column with at least four digits. So to be successful, we need to use resources. Maybe you might have counters at home you wish to use and place value grids are gonna be really useful today to ensure that actually our work is laid out clearly and we really think about the value of different digits and making sure that it is really, really clear the value of those digits and where they go. So let's have a look at the first example. I am actually gonna do this um, into the place value grid just so we can ensure that we are lining up our columns really, really carefully. So, we have 45,675 add 32,679. So, the first thing we're going to do, we can do that up here in our, um, how it will probably more likely be laid out in your books. We'll run those alongside. So, let's have a look to begin with then. Really having an, that understanding of what we're doing here. So, we've got five ones add nine ones is going to give us 14 ones. So, we have our four ones in our ones column. We're going to need to carry over those ten ones because they've made a ten. Seven tens add seven tens is 14 tens. Add another ten is 15 tens. Now, 15 tens is the same as 150. So we've got our five tens here, and we're going to carry over our one ten, our one hundred, sorry, our ten tens. We've got six hundreds, add six hundreds is twelve hundreds, add one more is thirteen hundreds. Now ten hundreds make a thousand, so we have three hundreds, and our tens worth, our ten hundreds is a thousand, so we carry that over into the uh, thousands place apologies I've carried that over that should have been a three there and our thousands in there five thousand add two thousand is seven thousand add one more is eight thousand there and finally then four thousand forty thousand four tens of thousands add three tens of thousands thirty thousand is seventy thousand so we've got the answer of seventy eight thousand 354 and you can see we've lined that up really carefully and thought about our carrying as we've gone along. Now you might build up to today actually looking at some larger numbers uh, this week of six digit numbers. So once again for this one I'm just going to make our place value grid smaller but feel free if you want to draw these into your books if they will help you then you can do so to use those particularly maybe if you haven't got squared paper that might be really useful. So we've got uh, 645,675, we've got some big numbers in year 5, we've got 232,679 and that's what we're going to be adding today. Okay, so 5 ones add 9 ones is 14 ones, carry over our 10 ones. 7 tens add 7 tens is 14 tens, and another 10 is 15 tens, carry over our 10 tens. 6 hundreds add 6 hundreds is 12 hundreds, uh, add one more hundred is 13 hundreds, carry over our 10 hundreds. 5 thousand add 2 thousand is 7 thousand, and another thousand there is 8 thousand. 40 thousand and 30 thousand, so 4 tens of thousands and three tens of thousands is seventy thousand, seven tens of thousands. And finally, six hundred thousand add two hundred thousand is eight hundred thousand. So we've got the answer there of eight hundred and seventy-eight thousand three hundred and fifty-four. You're going to work through these calculations today. Once you've completed the calculations, there are also some missing digit problems. So it might be that certain digits are blanked out like so and you've got to work out what those digits must be so using your inverse knowledge and a couple of spot the mistakes so see if you can work out where somebody has gone wrong and make sure you can put them right we look forward to seeing your work thank you